So welcome back. Dan, once again, doing bits. We have this thing. I just, yeah, it's just another one, isn't it? I'm really getting into this now. So, today is front brake day. As you can see, I've already made a bit of progress. Basically, all I've done is undone this, and then the whole front caliper just falls off the bike, like that, whoosh. And that's as far as we've done. I haven't touched anything else, I promise. So this is the inspection. I'm currently looking at it. It's got so much brake pad left. Because you can see the wear indicators. They stop like a millimetre before the actual metal. And there's just so much left. I'm not going to bother replacing these. So, all of this, all that grime and nastiness that you see, that's all coming off. All that grime there is all going to come off. We'll get this looking nice and clean. Just go mad with the brake cleaner. Get all that done and then that'll be the front brake done and this whole front end sorted so I can get the fault guards back on. And I might try and muck about with getting some spark as well just to make sure I've got that. So let's do that. Okay, we're moving pretty swift in this one. So, what I've done. Calipers off, all been cleaned and put back on. So that's looking good. What I've also got to do is I'm going to put a touch of silver just there to hide this big nasty scratch where it's seen the floor. Um, and I've also taken off the bracket here that holds the uh, brake line in place. It's just like a retaining bracket and that was silver and all crappy looking. And I'm going to give that a respray that's now gone black. So whilst that's drying up, I have, let's take it around here, checked for spark with my new spark plug that I didn't really trust and if I quickly show you you might be able to see ignition on oh my side stands down hold on Ugh. right hopefully I can get this angle There we go. And that's how you test for a spark on near enough anything. I've shown you that before, so has everyone else, but it doesn't help to be reminded. <laughs> so that's going to go back in, and I know the spark's working. Then I'm going to make sure fuel's getting to the carb, which I'm pretty sure it is, and it's near enough ready to be started up then. It's still got some decent oil in it, it doesn't look dirty or nothing, so I'm going to get it started see what happens see if i have any issues and then i'll change the oil and do all the filters and look after it you know so let's get cracking see what happens okay so moving around to this side we need to sort the fuel in my previous video or one of them you may have seen that i fixed uh, that bit that was very shaky right there and at the moment it is dry and it's been given around 24 hours to cure up so I'm hoping it's going to be okay um, so I'm going to leave the choke off for now turn the fuel on and see if anything leaks moment of truth is it just gonna make its way straight through that gasket seal or not. It seems okay. All right. Nothing leaking out of it at the moment. So we'll call that safe for now. Good stuff. I think we might try and start it up. Hmm. Yeah, go on, we'll give it a go, shall we? Right, so my tripod's broken. <laughs> so I'm just leaning you up like that right now. Let's hope you stay there. And then see if we can make this go burn. Right. 
So, let's try it. on. I think. Oh, boom, works. I don't know if it's getting fuel through. So now, that's the first sign of life. I need to turn that idle down, that's for sure. Because <laughs> wow, that was high. But I don't know if it is just that. We, we'll have to figure it out. But superb stuff. I think I'm gonna leave it at that on a great success. Um, I hope you did like this one. It's nice and quick, but I think we've done some pretty fantastic things. I'm bloody happy with it. Lots of smoke come jumping out of everywhere, but I think, you know, it might just be a case of fiddling with the carb, giving it a clean out, and just getting everything sorted. But so far I'm well chuffed with that. So if you did enjoy that, hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thanks very much for watching, for watching, and until the next time, keep doing bits.